Good morning, with Shab. I'm Shab. My mama named me Raheem. Oh man, it's a good day, man. God is good, man. Beautiful day, man. It's dreary out here, like I can do anything, but I heard it's gonna be 50 degrees and sunny at some point today. That's the rumor on the internet. So, man, look, I'm from Detroit. If you don't know, hey Nisha, I'm from Detroit, right? So, um. Our team, our football team is the Lions. So I don't know if you know, if you're not from here, you know we lose damn near every Thanksgiving since the, uh, the Pilgrims got here. Uh, we have not won a, um, a championship since before the NFL was the NFL. When the Cubs won, um, World Series a couple years ago. All right, but first, first let me qualify so. I didn't know I cared about the Lions. I didn't know. I'm gonna tell you when I found out. Cause some people found I know they really, really got their heart into the whole thing. I don't buy their clothes. I got a hat, but it's green and a bunch of other stuff. So when they went 0-17 that one year, Broke my heart. I don't even like football that much no more. So this year, I was gonna bet that they lost every game. These mother lovers gonna tie on Sunday. What type up? Mess your whole what we expect out of you up. So this is what the Lions remind me of. You know, like uh, mamas who got bad kids. And like, can't okay, Lord get my son off crack, you know, stuff like that. So, um, they might not let him in the house no more. The moms might not let the kids in the house no more. Um, they might not even talk to them because every time they come over, they steal the TV and break their heart. But deep, deep down inside, this parent is still hoping that this child will turn his freaking life around and act right. So I realized, and I can admit, if the Lions won the Super Bowl, I would cry. So, while I'm on this, I was reminded of the similarities of it, how the Lions is like a bad kid or an awful fucking kid. That's us. That's our prodigal asses. Um, we do what we want to do. We spend our wealth and our riches on ourselves and on bullshit. And what I mean is our talent, our time, our energy, our money, our our thought process, what we, what, what we put into stuff. We need to turn back to God. Honestly, I don't even think we got that much time as far as time go. And, all right, I ain't gonna tell my age, but. But, y'all niggas with the, um, with the gray beards? And y'all ladies with the white streaks? Did y'all get color now? Y'all the old people. We the old people. That's messed up. We grandpa, we papa, we nana. So we gotta um, turn back. Start praying for these kids. My man Kendrick say, ain't nobody praying for me. But y'all my grandma's dead. Ain't nobody praying for me, I'm on your head. So um, we gotta start praying for them. That's it, man. Thanks for watching. My phone number is 313-296-2251. Again, my name is Raheem. People call me Shaf. Um, you're listening to the sounds of Cecil Biscale, the Latin singing sensation. Um, thanks for watching again. I appreciate y'all. I love you. God loves you. Love yourself. Hey, if you don't, I used to do this live on Facebook, but Facebook made it hard for me to transfer it to Instagram. So now I do a live on Instagram. So if you want to follow me on Facebook, it's the same name, Shaf here. Shaf. Here by Shaft. Like Bond, James Bond, Shaft. Here by Shaft. Okay. Thank you very much. 313 296 2251. I love you. God loves you. Love yourself. Ray Ray at my house. Okay. Have a good day.